In this report, we are really focusing in on time intelligence. We have a reseller of product throughout the east coast of Australia, and we're looking to analyze all their key metrics in term, including sales, profits, and transactions. And we want to see how these have trended over time. What we have here is we are showing cumulatively, based on the selection that we have made, which, which time period we have selected, cumulatively how are we tracking this year versus how we were going last year. And this is done for sales and also for profits. And what's great about this setup is that we can actually dynamically change the time frame that we want to look at and the report will change with us. So if we wanted to say, look at just Q3, we could click on Q3, but say we wanted to go back historically and even look at 2005 Q3 and compare that to the year before, it's as easy as slicing on a different time frame. What we have here is also a snapshot or, or some trend analysis that is showing how have total sales trended over the time period we, we have selected or how is total profits trending over the time period we have selected. It's a great way to get a very quick snapshot or insight into some trend that may be appearing. We can also click on a particular region or sales region, etc., and then drill into that particular area as well. Down the bottom here, we are showing total sales over time, and again, that dynamically changes to suit the time frame that we select. What we're looking at here is our margins over time. So analyzing how have our margins of the sales that we're making, how have they held up over time? We're anal we can analyze it with over the entire scope of products that we sell, or we can actually also drill into the products uh, that, that we are selling. So this is an aggregation of total profits over the two quarters that we've selected in 2016. And we can see how much we've sold of each product. Here we are, sh are showing the profit margins this year over that time frame versus last year. But because the chart was incredibly busy because of the varying products that we sell, instead of using the actual profit, no profit margin number, we've tried to normalize the number here by using a moving average, which is a technique in itself and then comparing the two moving averages over each other. So the moving average of profit margins for this year compared to the moving average last year. So I think with that, you get a good sense of if there was a clear divergence between one year to the next, you can actually spot or highlight that uh, in your analysis. We also have used a ranking technique to dynamically rank the top cities for profit margin versus the bottom cities for profit margin. So Real questions can be asked uh, based on if we were selling exactly the same thing, why are profit margins high here versus low here, and so on and so forth. So these are great conversations that you can have with, say, retail sites or sales managers or sales reps. And it's a quick and easy way to drill into or find insight into that key piece of profitability within a business, and that's your profit margin. Down the bottom here, we're also showing profit margins this year versus last year. So again, why uh, is profit margin high for this year, but it was so uh, low for last year? Good, good question to ask, and uh, th those are the type, would be the types of things that would create a robust discussion uh, with, your, with your regional or global sales teams. Again, we're looking at some information over time here. In this chart, we're looking at the cumulative costs versus the cumulative sales, and we can track that over time or whatever time frame we select. What's really good is being able to dive into each individual city that we're selling in. So we can actually select our top city for this particular piece of analysis, and here you can really start to see where the, where the divergence occurs through time. 
We also have some analysis on on the warehouse warehouses that may produce or distribute product. And here we have some analysis on costs this year versus last year, and then looking to find if there was any great change in over, over the exact same period from this year to the next. So if you had, for instance, a large input cost, say a commodity cost into the product, you may see some much larger divergence than you are seeing here, but this is what this type of analysis will enable you to see.